I made a video explaining you guys how you can actually use some of the tricks that are available and increase the battery life on your phone even if you don't have root access and I got an overwhelming response on that one and a lot of you guys asked me to make a video for rooted phones as well so this video will have all the tricks that you can use to increase the battery life on your phone and some of these tricks will also increase the performance of your device and these tricks are only for rooted phones you can still use the non-rooted tricks and they would work in conjunction with these rooted tricks as well so without wasting any further time let's get straight into all these tricks so root does not change a lot of things the things that take a battery on your device still remain the same like the display or the applications that run in the background cpu and some other stuff as well and with root access you have a bit more control over the cpu or the applications that run in the background and the display as well so these tricks will not be very different from the non-rooted versions they'll just be a step above the non-rooted phones and this will help you to increase your battery life even further so the first step that you might want to do to your phone after you root it would be to uninstall the bloatware that is on your phone and in this way you uninstall a lot of applications that constantly run in the background if you guys don't know what bloatware is it is the applications that come bundled in with your phone like if you buy a samsung device you will have chat on and some other samsung application inbuilt and after you root your phone you can actually remove all these applications from your phone and they will not bother you at all or you could also figure out some of the applications that are inbuilt into your phone uh, that take up a lot of space some manufacturers also put some social media applications in your system partition like you might have facebook built into some manufacturer phones and what you could do is you could remove all these applications from your system partition and you could use some application like system app remover for that it's a very simple process and it just takes a few clicks you can also remove them manually using any file explorer application that can access your root directory and go to the system partition and delete all the applications from there so the process is quite simple you have to go to the system partition and then apps or uh, you can go to private apps also it would be priv uh, hyphen apps and you could delete all the applications that you want this will permanently delete all the applications that you're deleting so make sure you know what applications you're deleting or you might end up breaking your phone with system app remover it's quite simple all you have to do is click on the application and click uninstall and it will remove the application the second step requires greenify and yes greenify was there for non-rooted phones as well and uh, you could use it for unrooted phones but for non-rooted phones it doesn't actually hibernate the applications it force closes the applications and stops them from running again and again but when you use this application greenify with a rooted phone it gives it complete access for all the applications so now it actually can decide how the applications run and how to hibernate them and how to stop them from creating other processes and in this way it will be a bit more aggressive on your phone and with rooted phones it doesn't actually kill the application it hibernates the application into a low memory state and what that does is the application will still be running in the background but it won't be able to create any new processes and it will be able to communicate in the background and give you notifications but it won't take up a lot of battery so if you're struggling with a facebook application or some other applications that take up a lot of your battery then this is a perfect application for you there are some other features in the pro version as well but because most of the guys use the free version i only covered the free version in this video so before moving on to the next step if you're not subscribed to the channel Make sure you go ahead and press the subscribe button and also tap on the notification icon because I keep making videos like this. So the third step would be to use power nap. Power nap will not work for Nougat devices as Exposed is not available for Nougat yet. But if you're running any Marshmallow device or have Exposed installer installed on your device, then power nap is a very powerful module. The working of power nap is very similar to that of Greenify but it is very aggressive and it works when you turn off the display on your phone so as soon as you turn off the display on your phone it will stop all the applications that are running in the background and you can white test applications so that only some certain applications will give you notifications when your screen is locked but it will aggressively try to reduce the system load and the applications that are running when your device is locked so when you have power nap installed and you lock your device your device will kind of go into a deep sleep state and it will prevent all the notifications from popping up and only some applications applications will give you notifications and you will have to manually select those applications and this will end up saving a lot of battery life 
So the things that we have discussed till now don't have much impact on your device's performance while you're actually using the device but there's also one way where you can reduce the performance of your device to increase battery life and you can do that by reducing the CPU load or not allowing the CPU to run at its full potential. So for this you will need a custom kernel installed on your phone. For different phones there will be different custom kernels and you can use any custom kernel that you want. Most of them come with a separate application that will let you change the frequency of the cores of the CPU. So this way you can set the maximum and the minimum frequency of your CPU and this can drastically reduce the performance of your phone if you set it to very low but if you want to drastically improve the battery life on your phone for having some notifications from some applications or you're stuck in a situation where you want to use your phone for 12 hours and you only have the battery remaining for two hours and then for that particular time you can set the cpu frequency to really low this will make your phone slower but will improve your battery life or you could do one thing as well if you don't play a lot of games on your phone you can figure out what frequency works best for your phone and which can run all the applications that you want and you can set the maximum frequency just a bit above that so what that will do is it will have like a moderate performance for your phone and you won't notice a lot of difference while you're using day-to-day -day applications and you will save a lot of battery life as well but one day if you decide to play some heavy games on your phone then it would definitely start lagging so that was kind of it for this video if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to this channel for more content like this